I kept seeing these cheap Android TV boxes advertised all over, not just on sketchy sites, but on Amazon, Walmart, and even mainstream retailers, and every time it raised an eyebrow. They were claiming to give you free TV, every app you could think of, and sometimes even live sports for like 30 to 50 bucks. Let's be real, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. And now we've got confirmation. The FBI just issued a warning about a massive malware campaign called Bad Box, targeting these exact kinds of devices. We're talking about pre-installed malware straight from the factory, turning these boxes into part of a criminal botnet as soon as you plug them in. So today we're breaking down what Bad Box is, how to protect your network, and why if you really want a TV box, you should either buy from a reputable brand or just build one yourself like I used to back in the Myth TV and XBMC days. You might now know that one as Cody. Before we jump in, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on all of my socials. I'm live on Twitch, posting on Blue Sky and Mastodon, as well as I am on TikTok and chatting with the community on Discord and Matrix. All the links are in the description, and supporting on all of these platforms is one of the best ways to keep this content going. Now, let's jump in. On June 5th, 2025, the FBI and IC3 published a PSA warning about Badbox, a global malware operation that's compromised over a million Android-based devices. This isn't just some shady APK download. This malware is baked into the firmware at the supply chain level. Once the device is powered on and online, it connects to a command and control network and starts acting as a proxy for cyber criminals, committing ad fraud, collecting user data, and potentially scanning or accessing other devices on your network. These sketchy boxes are often sold as unlocked, offering free cable channels, premium apps, and streaming with no subscriptions. But what you're really getting into? Preloaded malware, shady update channels, zero security vetting, and a device that's possibly spying on your network or routing criminal activity through your IP address. The wild part is some of these are sold right alongside legit gear, so people assume they're safe, but they're not. If you really want a streaming box, you have two safe paths. Buy from a reputable brand, something with Google Play Protect certification, regular firmware updates, and clear documentation. Or go old school, build your own. I used to run XBMC, which became Kodi, and you can run that on small PCs or Raspberry Pis. Myth TV used to be a thing. I don't know if it's still around, but you know we used to install TV tuners and all that along before, uh, alongside when uh, TiVo was around too, but times have changed. That way, I knew exactly what I was running, and I had total control. It might take a little more time, but it won't ship with malware and it won't silently spy on your network. My home setup is built to handle shady IoT devices. And this is exactly why I use PFSense for routing and firewall. All IoT is pushed to a lockdown VLAN that can't talk to the main network. I use Suricata for IDS IPS to monitor and block malicious traffic. That's intrusion detection systems and intrusion prevention systems. And I run PFBlocker NG for DNS level blacklisting and geo blocking. Some people use Snort for instead of Suricata, but it used to be single threaded and Suricata can keep up with multi gig connections just fine. For switching in Wi-Fi, I rely on Ubiquity so I can see what's going on at every layer and isolate things fast in a good home network. There's other vendors out there. I know people are going to comment, well, why do you use this or that? This is just what I use. It's pretty cost effective for what I'm doing for my home lab. If you already have one of these Android boxes at home, here are the red flags. Shady app marketplace is built in. Request to disable Google Play Protect. It's advertised as unlocked or free live TV from a brand you've never heard of. It's not Play Protect certified. You see weird spikes in internet usage or outbound traffic. If any of that sounds familiar, disconnect it from your network and assume it's compromised. Bad Box is just the latest reminder that cheap tech often comes at a hidden cost. If you want a streaming solution, stick to reputable brands, Roku or the like, or roll your own setup with open source tools like Kodi or, well, I wouldn't really recommend Plex anymore, but. Jellyfin, I think, is the other one that's out there. It'll cost a little more upfront, but it won't be part of a botnet. And please, segment your network. Isolate your smart devices. Monitor what's happening. Don't let a $30 box give hackers a front row seat to your home. If you found this helpful, drop a like, subscribe, and click the bell so you don't miss more videos like this. And if you want to go deeper, join the Discord. Link's down below. Hop into our Matrix server. And follow me on Twitch where I talk about this stuff uh, all live and uncensored. The links are in the description below. Until next time, stay safe, stay smart, and happy hacking.